Conyers accused of taking staff meeting in his underwear, ordering subordinate to babysit his kid no one had to guess whether Representative John Conyers wore boxers or briefs, according to a former key staffer, who said the embattled Michigan lawmaker once called her into a meeting while sporting only his scarves. Melanie Sloan, a lawyer who worked with Conyers on the House Judiciary Committee, said she was called up to the long-serving congressman's office to discuss an issue only to find him walking around in his underwear. Sloan is the third woman to accuse Conyers of inappropriate behavior. It made me increasingly anxious and depressed about going to work every day, she said, adding that there was no way to fix it. There was no mechanism I could use, no person I could go to, she said. Sloan was a well-known Washington lawyer when she worked as Democratic counsel on the House Judiciary Committee in the 1990s. It was not clear exactly when the strange encounter with the lawmaker, now 88, occurred. During her time working for the committee, she claims Conyers often screamed at her, fired her then rehired her, criticized her for not wearing stockings and once even ordered her to babysit one of his children. While those revelations came out earlier this week, word of Conyers, who was first elected to Congress in 1964, taking a meeting in his underwear came this week in a Detroit Free Press article. Though Sloan maintains Conyers did not sexually assault her, she told the Detroit Free Press that his constant stream of abuse was difficult to handle and it was certainly damaging to my self-respect and self-esteem. Conyers' hometown newspaper earlier this week called for his resignation in the wake of sexual harassment allegations against him as well as a questionable payout to an alleged victim. Conyers is accused of using taxpayer dollars to settle a claim in secret, after a former staff reportedly claimed she was fired for rejecting his advances. In a scathing editorial published late Tuesday, the Detroit Free Press demanded the Democrat step down immediately. The paper called Conyers' actions the kind of behavior that can never be tolerated in a public official, much less an elected representative of the people. He should resign his position and allow the investigation into his behavior to unfold without the threat that it would render him, and the people he now represents, effectively voiceless, the board wrote. BuzzFeed reported Monday that Conyers settled a wrongful termination complaint in 2015 with a staffer who claimed she was dismissed because she did not succumb to his sexual advances. Conyers acknowledged in a statement that his office paid his accuser the money, reportedly a $27,000 sum, but vehemently denied the underlying claims. I expressly and vehemently denied the allegations.